Hello, welcome to automatic prompt optimization. So in this tutorial, I will cover that what is the use of automatic prompt optimization, how it is actually working. And finally, I will give you one code example, like how you can write your own prompt optimizer. So let us start. Suppose you are a very good safe having 10 years or 20 years of experience and suppose you want to ask about some recipe from large language model but as you are knowledgeable person you have a lot of experience so when you write the prompt the quality of prompt will be very good because you know the, all the ups and downs all the ingredients its impact everything so maybe your prompt will give exactly what you want in a single or single effort or maybe two efforts but suppose you are just a beginner, you don't know, then maybe to get the correct prompt, you need a lot of uh, continuous prompting. Maybe still you will miss some of the information. So actually prompt optimization solves this problem. Suppose you have an input text and you want the large language model to identify its sentiment so you will write the prompt suppose you are a layman person you will write that give the sentiment of the text or you can say that give the sentiment of the following text and you can write text here so these are some possibilities that you will do in a layman form maybe sentiment classifier will give correct sentiment like positive negative or neutral maybe it will give only positive or negative class or maybe it will give positive with some information negative with some information only so it may or may not matches with your exact requirement so how to solve this problem so i will just uh, start with an overview that what is the motivation or idea to solve this problem so here the main motivation or idea used uh, in such kind of algorithms are to identify some seed or history prompt. I will also explain at the end of this tutorial if you don't have seed or history prompt then how you will go ahead. So identify the seed that is already executed for similar kind of task and what is their score. You already know the reinforcement learning or some other ways so a lot of there are a lot of ways to calculate the score so based on that you will get uh, some top uh, k such kind of seeds or history you can collect after that you know your task so you can start with a small validation set and you will validate your seed history with this validation set uh, some of them are performing very good, some of them are not performing good in this validation set. So you can rank them and you can take the top K ranked prompts. And so when you select the top K prompt after this validation, you will give you will have a sufficiently good amount of knowledge where prompts actually understand. the your actual scenario now you can write the meta prompt uh, so the meta prompt will be like uh, will contain some rule okay so this is the rule we have to text the sent text the uh, take the text classify its sentiment use the following seed following seed uh, top k seeds as a means uh, example here uh, your seed will be there and uh, here you can write some task okay your task is to take the sentence as an input sentence would be in english and you are giving the one of the classes like either positive negative or neutral so based on that based on the history top k history the large language model will generate a very good performing prompt. Now you can add this prompt into history and you can repeat the entire process for some time. 
after the after repeating this process for some time you will find that you got sufficiently good performing prompt then your top k seats after suppose you are using n number of rounds so in n number of rounds your top k seats top k means uh, performing history prompt list will have a lot of very good prompts you can sort them in descending order and you can take the top one as a top one as a main prompt that prompt will be a very good prompt that can serve your purpose for example here our prompt was like give the sentiment of the text so in that case maybe your prompt will be like that for a given english input text classify the sentiment in positive negative or neutral and give only one class as a output so that may be your highly improved prompt now we will go through each stage one by one and after that we will go through a code walk through so we start we just write classify the sentiment classify the sentiment of the given text so this is our initial prompt we have identified suppose we have identified top five seed prompts so this is our seed prompts with their accuracy so score that is scores are given now you have to check whether the given prompt that you are selected as a seed is near to your task or not so what you have to do you have to start the loop and run the evaluation on the seed prompt so what you will do you will run the evaluation on the seed prompt so for the evaluation you will use a small validation set for example this is our validation set so this is a gold level so once we evaluate so once we evaluate our prompt on those seed then we will have a good understanding about the performance of each of the prompts of a series so what are the precautions that you have to take because we are going to make a strict evaluation so a strict evaluation means we have to make the large language model temperature 0 0 so that it will not have any chances to add some creativity it will be like a deterministic output so that we can get the actual evaluation of the prompt and we have a standardized levels positive negative neutral we calculate the accuracy so accuracy means suppose we have six examples so our prompt p1 gives correct results on all six prompts the score will be 6 by 6 like that and after that we will update the prompt history uh, suppose our history list which is actually seed contains total 5 prompts so we will add one more and after that we will sort it in descending order and after that we will go through the optimization loop so it will run multiple times so what optimization loop will do so first part is build meta prompt from the history so how to develop the meta prompt from the history meta prompt is actually also a prompt so when you write the prompt you will write that what is the rule first so your rule will be like uh, suppose you say the large language model that okay you are a good uh, sentiment classifier so for the given text we have to classify the text into positive negative or neutral and with those rules we have some example and the score plus score so we have this example and score we will give it to guide and after that we will write the task 
okay our task is to take the english input text classify the text into positive negative or neutral and give only one output so this is our task so this is our new meta prompt this meta prompt will generate a new type of instructions for example there is one prompt so similarly it can generate a new instructions prompt with the optimizer element so maybe it will be something better text so based on that we will again evaluate the new prompt we will again evaluate the new prompt by using this validation data set and after that what we will do evaluate and then we will update the prompt history so now we again had a prompt history with five elements because every time we are keeping the history size fixed every time we are removing the less performing list performing prompt so we will again add one more prompt and after that prune the history to top k prompts so how we will do the pruning so we will sort in descending order sort in descending order based on the score like higher score will come first lower score will come last like that and we will remove one of the low performing prompt so based on that we will improve and again we will go through the optimization loop we will continue this loop for n times and after that once the n loops are complete we will go out so once we go out our history prompts will be highly updated set of prompts with five prompts because we are always making k is equal to 5 but you can take k is equal to any number so in this updated form take the highest scoring prompt as your output now when we run the optimization loop we do some other operations also to maintain it properly running so those are the main main functions like propose like proposal generate the new proposals or new candidate prompts that we are generating so if the prompt is already matching with the history we will remove it we score it we update the and we prune it so these kind of task we are continuously maintaining in this loop and only one strongest prompt will serve your purpose so this is your way now let us come to another way at the very beginning i said that suppose you have a seed prompt and suppose you don't have a seed prompt then what you will do your situation will be like a cold start thing there are a lot of fixes available the system can ask like write your actual prompts like this you have written earlier like give the sentiment of the text and after that the system will say that okay give a four five uh, more way that you can write this what exactly you want you can just write all those information so this four five input that you will do manually will be considered as a seed and then the entire optimization loop will improve and optimize your prompt so now let us go through the code walk through so okay let us start with code walk through in the code walk through i have used the grok and uh, i have used the free api key uh, with the llama 3.1 8 billion instant model that i have used in this uh, x tutorial so the main part of the code is prompt history to just to simply demonstrate i have manually defined the prompt history so here you can see that this is our prompt history and after that i have calculated use the validation data so that is also hard enter and after that our valid labels are there here you can see that so normalized labels systems are also there 
so always returns positive negative or neutrals for example several times it returns like posit negate negate neutral so just return in a simple normalized format that's why i use this and they classify ones so this is the classifier model that we use to give the instructions to the text so as i say about rule so it says that you are a strict sentiment classifier you must uh, output exactly one word positive negative or neutral no punctuations no extra words so this way we give some information now we are using a scoring prompt so this is like uh, we are using slip between the calls and uh, score the each of the prompts like i discussed in the ppt and after that we build the meta prompt so what is the meta prompt so meta prompt contains this type of header so you are optimizing an instructions for a sentiment classification task this is goal maximize the accuracy on a small validation set you will see previous candidate instructions with their scores 0 to 1 propose a new instructions that are likely to achieve even higher accuracy and based on that constants for each proposed instructions like so these are the task so these are the task demand a single word output discourage extra text and single line only no numbering no quotes no code blocks because several times you see that you will see that llm starts giving a lot of nonsense text also and result actually k new instructions on each line and nothing else so this is the things that you have to carefully write and based on that the system will propose instructions so this is your task this is meta prompt and this is the system so optimizer chat you will just use so this is very simple to understand and after that prompt optimization loop so as i already discussed this prompt optimization loop here it starts with the proposed did up score update room so all four things are implemented here proposed did up score and update the history and keep talking after that we call the our main function so when we call this so this main function contains uh, actually it is calling everything one by one like we discussed so let us see that how it works so when i run this so first uh, it score the seed prompts on the validation sheets so or for all the sheets it will uh, generate a similar kind of validation results for example see here identify the sentiment select one positive negative neutral the score is too poor like 0.67 classify the sentiment of the text below be specific and use only one of the following words positive negative or neutral score is very good so some of the prompts are giving very good score some of the prompts are giving not very good score on the validation data set now it will go for round 1 so first round then it will go for round 2 and it will just select the top k like i discussed here round 1 round 2 round 3 so after the end round it will give the final score so it is running round 2 now now so the after two rounds the best discovered instruction or prompt is with the score one is like analyze the text for emotional tone provide single word classification positive negative or neutral so this is the best performing tone and it depends upon the type of data that you are using because sometimes you may use some non emotional data so in that case the prompt line will be different for sentiment classification so this is the complete thing that i wanted to say so thanks for watching i hope you would have understand this topic like how the prompt optimization system is working in the next tutorial i will say that if we don't have validation data then how will go ahead